In this video, I'm giving you the 10 most useful keyboard shortcuts in Logic Pro for iPad. First, you'll need to connect up a keyboard. If you're using a Magic Keyboard or a Folio case, it'll connect and be able to be used straight away. If you're using a Bluetooth or a USB keyboard, check out the video linked up there and in the description for instructions on how to get connected. Before we dive into the list, a quick tip up front, and that is if you hold down the Command key or the Windows key on a Windows keyboard, you'll get a list of all the available keyboard shortcuts for you. You can even come down here to the search box, type something in and see if there is a shortcut available for that function. There are also some shortcuts only available in certain windows. So for instance, if we tap on the mixer, hold down the command or windows key again, you're going to get a slightly varied set of commands. Number one, to play or stop playback on your project, simply put the playhead to where you want to start and hit the space button to play. What is this? and again to stop. Number two, to record, simply select the track you want to record to and instead of having to hit the button up here, you can simply hit the R key to start recording. And once again, spacebar to stop. Number three, we don't want that bit of audio we just recorded, so let's undo it. We can do that by hitting Command Z or Z, that's gonna remove it. If you wanna redo something you've undone, just hold down Command Shift and hit Z or Z, and it will bring back the last action you completed. Number four, your cursor keys. You can use your down arrow and up arrow to move between your different tracks. You can also use the left and the right arrows to move between regions within a track. Related to that is number five, and that is using the shift key to multi-select. So if we hold down shift and then go down, you'll notice that it's multi-selecting. If we go up, it's going to multi-select a number of different tracks. And we can do the same thing with regions within a track simply by holding shift and going right here. It's going to multi-select multiple regions in the same track. To mute or solo tracks, we simply select the track by using our arrow keys again and hit the M button to mute. So let's mute this vocal on this one. To unmute, we simply hit the M key again on those tracks and the same same for our solo. We simply hit the S key to solo and S again to unsolo. Number seven is something that's not exclusive to Logic Pro for iPad. In fact, it's pretty much universal across all platforms and that is copy, cut and paste. So if we have an item that we want to copy, we select it and then hold down command and hit C. If we want to paste it somewhere else, we select the track we want to paste it, put our playhead in the spot we'd like it to be and hold down command and hit V. Let's use our undo to get rid of that. If we wanted to cut out a piece of audio here, all we need to do is use Command X and we could do the same thing. We can then move it to another location or another track and hold down Command V and paste it. And this time it's removing it and pasting it in a new location. Number eight is seriously going to speed up your workflow here in Logic Pro for iPad. And that is showing and hiding your different windows. So as you may know, you can show and hide windows by tapping and then tapping again. But there's a quicker way using keyboard shortcuts. Let's take you through each of those. To show and hide plugins, use the B key. To show and hide the fader over on the left, use the key next door, the V key. To show or hide the editor, hit the E key. The browser is your Y key. This lets you access your instruments and your patches and your plugin presets. The very handy mixer is your X key. To open the inspector and check out your settings, it is the I key. And finally, to show and hide your play surfaces to play your keyboards and your chord strips, it's the P key. And once again, if you forget any of these or you need a refresher, simply hold down the command or the Windows key and all of them are available here. Once you learn them though, they'll be second nature and your workflow will improve a heap. Number nine is one that I use a heap and that is simply hitting the return key, which takes you right back to the start of the project. It does the same thing as this button up here in your transport controls. And number 10, if you're like me and you accidentally turn on the cycle mode all the time when you don't want it, simply tap the C key to toggle the cycle mode on and off. Okay, one more bonus tip. Number 11, if you wanna delete an item, simply tap on it and hit the delete key. If you found this video useful, you may wanna consider hitting the thumbs up button down below. I'd also love to hear from you about your favorite and most used shortcuts. Are there any that I've missed that you find super handy? Drop those in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe because we've got a heap of Logic Pro videos coming out all the time here on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.